In today's video, I would like to analyze the English of Rodrigo Santoro. And no, nobody, nobody ever says his name like this. I'm sorry if I've just offended anybody watching. So yeah, the title of my video is Does Rodrigo Santoro, Rodrigo Santoro, does he speak English well? He does, of course he does. He lives in the USA, he has an international film career. So why am I making this video? Well, as an English teacher, the mistakes that I'm going to talk about today are mistakes that I hear all the time in my classes. And I think you guys could really benefit, you guys could really learn something just from watching somebody as established, somebody who has a really high degree of fluency and somebody who maybe will make a mistake from time to time in English. Rodrigo Santoro was on a show called something like late night with so this is interesting i'm not american but he was uh, on an american show and I, it's not james corden james corden's british it's called like late night with seth i think even for me as a native british english speaker i had problems understanding what seth said seth said that for rodrigo's role in the film 300 they had a lot of computer generated imagery and it's too bad it's a shame that for rodrigo they didn't just uh, use this for his hair i think rodrigo had to go to a, a waxing place he was completely hairless and he said oh it's too bad that they didn't use cgi this is rodrigo's um, reply just like digitally that get rid of your hair that would be awesome yeah that so Rodrigo there has used the second conditional. So he said, yeah, that would be awesome. Um, but if Seth had said, yeah, um, they're going to make a sequel and the next um, version, you're going to use CGI, then Rodrigo could say, that would be awesome. But because this event happened in the past, it's exclusive to the past. There is nothing Rodrigo can do to change the past. He's going to use the third conditional, the impossible past. So he would say instead of that would be awesome, that would have been awesome. So this is a mistake I often correct with my students. It's not an easy tense to remember. If you are having problems with this conditional tense, so is Rodrigo. And this might make you feel a little bit better. It might comfort you to know that somebody as advanced as Rodrigo is making this mistake. But also just be careful, that would have been awesome. I love saying the word awesome. I'm British. British people don't really use the word awesome. Yeah, let's move on to the next mistake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it took me uh, three months uh, to grow that beard. Um, I gotta tell when the, have you ever I've gotta tell. Let's see, is this just one time he makes this mistake or does he say it again? Okay. I tell one thing. Is I tell one thing. Yeah, so this mistake is so common. It's actually in my book, the top 85 mistakes Brazilians make in English. Be careful when using the verb to tell because you always need a subject like a noun or a pronoun after. So there he could say, I will tell you something or I will tell everybody something. But he just said, I tell something. So be careful, guys. And that has been my video today on... Rodrigo Santoro. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time guys, speak to you soon.